Only on 7 News, the Honor Guard is there for grieving families of fallen service members, but now budget woes mean the Guard won't be at every funeral. Thank 7 News reporter Don Champion finding that money runs out at the end of March. Oh, I think about him every day. Yeah, I'm sure everybody does in the family. Almost a year later, the family of Army Staff Sergeant Jordan Bear is still trying to adjust to life without the 25-year-old. He just wanted to do his part, and, you know, he, he died uh, doing his job. A fact that has helped Bear's Uncle Lee cope with the loss. Another thing that helped, having the honor guard from the Colorado Army National Guard at Bear's funeral. They make it a little easier on the family when they're there, you know, because there's always somebody there. Now 7 News has learned fewer Colorado families will have the guard at funerals of fallen soldiers and vets. Starting in April, budget problems will mean not all funerals will be attended by the guard. A National Guard official could not go on camera, but tells 7 News on average, the Honor Guard attends about 1,800 funerals a year. Bear's uncle calls the move unfortunate. That's the ultimate sacrifice. They deserve that honor of their country, state, whoever it may be, to have somebody there to recognize that, yes, this, this individual, this person gave their life for their country. Don Champion, 7 News.